Hey, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to another Home Lab series video. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far. Um, in today's video, um, we're going to actually be utilizing our new CA server and creating a cert for GitLab so that we can actually put GitLab on HTTPS and everything is more secure. And every security person who's watching this will be going, yay, more secure. Um, so with that, um, this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy the content here, um, you should slap a like, comment, and subscribe. But if you also want to sponsor me, send me some free hardware or you know, just send me some free swag. Um, send me an email in uh, on my, at my business email in the description below. So, all right, let's get started, guys. Okay, so the first thing with with de doing anything with TLS is you need to create the certificate, right? So we're gonna log into our CA server here, and we're gonna utilize the step CA dragon local. We're gonna use utilize the step CA to create this. So. Um, easy way for us to do this is actually, um, I'm going to make separate directories for each certificate so that if I need to go back and look for a specific, specific certificate, man, I can go back and go to the right correct directory for it. Um, so what we're going to do is use the step function, uh, step command, um, and we're going to create a certificate that is GitLab dot dragon dot local is what we have um and we need the set and the key so we're going to create it as dragon dot local dot set and gitlab dot dragon dot local dot key all right now it's going to ask for the description password so if you guys don't remember the description password was also shown in um during the installation, so I don't actually have it in here, but I, we, if you recall, I, I, I created it as a, um, I pasted it in a file. <laughs> um, oh, I need to log in, uh, which you shouldn't do, but I did. So let's, let's go back, look at that file. All right, here we go. This is the password you need to use. Let's provision a key. All right. So now you can see that there are two keys in here. Uh, I, uh, one set, one key. GitLab would need both of them. So um, if we actually go and look at how to configure GitLab, um, and I have a few links copied and pasted so I don't have to actually search for it. Um, we are going to set the external URL to be HTTPS. We'll disable Let's Encrypt because the Omnibus installation um, assumes I've used HTTPS, it'll try to do the less encrypt stuff, but because we're not, it's not pu a public server, less encrypt won't work. And then we will throw the files in this directory by default. Um, we, I don't really care about where it goes. I'm gonna just leave it in where um, GitLab will automatically assume these directories. So we're gonna put it in there and it should just work afterwards. So, um, yeah. So first things first, we need to log in to the GitLab server. I'm gonna open a new terminal here. Um, we'll keep the other one in the background, but we're gonna open a new terminal. SH root at gitlab.dragon.local. Um, so now we need to edit the GitLab RB by GitLab RB. We're gonna to need to look for external URL here. Okay, so you can see how it's HTTP right now. We're gonna change that to HTTPS. We also need to, let's encrypt, disable this. So it's currently set to nil. We actually want this to be false, I think. Uh, let's double check the documentation. Yep, enables false. GitLab enables false. Okay, and that should, that should be the changes that we need for that. Next, we want to uh, make the directories gitlab ssl and make sure that the directory permissions are correct all right so let's see gitlab ssl what we're going to do is actually copy ca dragon dot local root gitlab we'll copy those two sets and put them in here yes log in oh i <clears throat> All 
I also use a temporary password. So yeah, you can you can tell that I have a exclamation point at the end of my password. This is my temp password that I always use you know, that you won't know, but it ends in an exclamation point, guys. As like most default passwords are when, I mean, the, the hilarious thing is when you, talk, when you talk about like security, like most people's password, if it requires a capitalization symbol and like numbers, most likely most passwords will start with a start with a capital letter and then end with an exclamation point. <laughs> it's, it's just funny. It does. I don't know if it makes it more secure at that point. <laughs> um, but this is my temp password I use for my like home lab testing stuff. So I'm not too worried. Okay. So now we can see that the files are located in here. Um, so what we're going to do now, get lab, get lab, CTL reconfigure. Have this go through and reconfigure. I don't think there's anything else in here that I can see. We don't have a password set on that, so we don't need to worry about that. We will do the reconfigure. Okay. Oh, and the other thing we'll need to do is actually update the GitLab runner too, um, because the URL will change. So if you would call back when we actually set up the GitLab runner, um, it actually you utilized the HTTP URL. Now it's HTTPS. So we will actually need to update that too. So while we while we wait for that, we're gonna well we can update the runner too. It won't work until it's back up, um, but. Okay, yeah. Docker exact IT GitLab runner bin bash. So we actually need to do the same thing that we did before. Um, a step CLI install. Well, we need to actually install the cert so it actually reads it correctly. Um, so GitLab runner is using this. So we're gonna copy and paste that. Um, so, and paste that, but it won't paste because it's Windows. There you go. Oh, and we want to get rid of the pseudo. Okay, so now that's also installed. Um, so we can see here our it's it's actually restarting restarting everything. So now I should be able to. Dragon local. Okay, so besides the fact that it's still loading, you can now see that this encryption is secure. It has a valid set. It actually has a set that is gitlab.dragon.local. So it's, it's not the insecure thing. So we have successfully actually loaded the cert one as GitLab is back up. So now, now you won't ever run into the, hey, this isn't secure anymore. Um, so that that is pretty simple. So we need to also make sure that the runner also re-enables here. So, um, so now we can, if, if we wanted to test it, we can also just do like a curl, curl HTTPS gitlab.dragon.local. And okay, so the, the set is broken. Oh, oh, uh, I messed the step. I forgot about that. Um, so now that we've actually ran it, um, I need to log back into the CA server real quick. We need to grab the fingerprint um, and actually install the set. Okay, come on. Copy. Okay, so that's that's the fingerprint. All right, we're gonna give it one second. There's that. This is the fingerprint. And then we have ca.dragon.local. Okay, so this is what I need for that. See, and, and, and this is why I have to do it like this because this kind of is hard to edit. Okay, so now 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 trust is so now if I do this, it doesn't give you this whole SSL certificate problem. So now we'll need to re-register um, HTTPS gitlab.dragon.local. We'll have to actually go into GitLab. 
and oh um here we go oh here we go <laughs> I feel this is a new GUI. I'm used to I'm I'm used to the the 15.0 version, not the 16 version of GitLab. Um, and then runners. Oh no! Here we go. Copy that key. Paste. No description. We'll go with that. Docker. CentOS seven. And. That should be set now. So now we should be able to see two runners. Um, this one will eventually load. Here we go. So now that's that's our new runner. This one you can see it was last kind of set 42 minutes ago. This one won't ever come back. So we're just gonna delete it. Permanently delete that. And now this should work. So to just give it a good test to make sure you you know your runners work, we're gonna actually go back and just run the pipeline for this um, because we know that this is a successful pipeline. It's just gonna do a deploy of, of the file, nothing's going to change, so it won't actually matter. So we're gonna just run this real quick, make sure everything works. Yep, so configured, so it picked it up on the new server and it reloaded successfully. So that is how you add a new cert with, um, that's how you create a cert with uh, the step CA uh, input it into GitLab, and now you have TLS on GitLab and on your home network. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a great day here. See ya.